fame career was a personal journey that began on a frozen stream on his grandparents' farm. Through 20 NHL seasons, Gretzky rewrote the NHL record book. A player with an unmatched combination of natural ability and passion for the game. He will be known forever as the Great One. Wayne Gretzky was born January 26, 1961 in Brantford, Ontario. When Wayne showed a love for hockey, his father decided that life would be easier with a rink of their own. Well, everybody thinks that, that I made a rink in a backyard so that he could be a hockey player, that those were my intentions. The honest truth is, I used to take him to the outdoor rinks. He loved hockey, he loved to skate, and he loved to play. One night I came home and I was literally frozen. So my dad decided that he would build a rink in the backyard, he could sit in the house and I could go out there and skate. I could get all the skating I wanted in and he could uh, stay warm. It was self-preservation, that's the honest truth. I had a passion for it, I don't know why. I didn't think I was practicing. I didn't go on the ice to say, you know what, I'm going to be in the NHL one day. Of course, we all have dreams and we all have uh, ambitions and I probably was like everyone else, but I actually did it because I really loved it and that was my passion. I didn't feel like I was sacrificing anything, I just felt that that's what I love to do. In the fall of 1978, 17-year-old Wayne Gretzky made his professional hockey debut at in the Indianapolis Racers of the WHA. In 1979, the Edmonton Oilers joined the NHL, and Wayne Gretzky had an immediate impact. As a rookie, he tied Marcel Dion in the points race. The following year, he won the scoring title, establishing new single-season marks for total points and assists. And in his third NHL season, Gretzky recorded what may be the most durable record of all time. 50 goals in 39 games! It was, uh, you know, one of those nights that uh, I don't know if we'll ever see it again. Five goals in one game, 50 goals in 39 games. 39 games. I mean, when you think about it, I mean, who's going to break that? way to a 212 point season. Two years later, Wayne Gretzky would lead the young Edmonton Oilers team to a victory in the 1984 Stanley Cup. 
the thing you remember most, it's always the first Stanley Cup. It's a remarkable feeling that you wish every guy who played in the NHL could experience at one time. But what makes it so remarkable is that not everybody's going to Gretzky continued to dominate NHL offense in both the regular season and the playoffs as he led the Oilers to victory in the 1985 and 1987 Stanley Cup Finals. The Oilers were the team to We were good. You know, now that it's over, you can look back and say, we were good, because we really were. But at the time, we didn't realize that. We were just enjoying it, and we were just playing. There was so much less pressure on us those days that we just went out and did what we did best, and that was just to play hockey. During his career, Wayne Gretzky made 18 appearances in the annual NHL All-Star Game. Surrounded by the game's elite, he always gave fans something to remember. And the reason I never turned down the All-Star Game, and the reason I was excited to play in the All-Star Game, because I knew there was 10 guys on my team that would kill to play in the All-Star Game that were never going to get a chance to play there. Wayne Gretzky represented his country as a member of Team Canada on seven occasions. In 1987, he and Mario Lemieux combined to bring Canada one of its most memorable victories in international competition. What I've learned from uh, Wayne Gretzky from playing with him in the Canada Cup was uh, his dedication to, uh, to the game. Uh, the way he practiced every day, he practiced extremely hard. I think it was natural for Wayne Gretzky to be a leader right from the start. He dedicated himself to the game of hockey and, and trying to be the best uh, in the world. He was always thinking about how to improve himself. You know, the greatest player in the world. And I guess that's what made him great. You know, he was always looking for that edge. He didn't just take it to the game. He practiced hard. He just saw practice as just an extension of the game. I've never seen anybody dedicate himself to a sport or any other walk of life, frankly. Quite like he did. He had unbelievable knack of knowing uh, where to be and what was going to happen. But you know, I don't think anybody could sit here and say what really set him apart. It was just one of those uncanny abilities to play the game, and was born to play the game. Was born to be great, and was born to be. A